Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In one of previous video, we have demonstrated how to collect data and write into JSON files. For completion, in this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to read and parse JSON data from files. JSON data stands for the JavaScript object notation, and the JSON data is text. So JSON is text. Most popular use of JSON format data is the exchange data between browser and the server, so it's only text. So the example we continue use one of previous video. The example when the open text files that video we put a file name into this uh, line editor. We click this uh, open JSON button and we will open file printed here in the plan text editor. Here is when the open JSON button clicked. And there is a push button to click. What we do, we get the file name from the line editor instantialize the my object it's a file object called my file and then we open file as read only and as text and then we read all the file into a JSON string and uh, then we close the file then we just uh, append this to the plain text editor so for continue in this example we just append the lines from right now we start parse JSON data. In order to save typing time, we just make a copy paste. So here, I just uh, copy, cut, paste. So what we are going to do first, we have to instantialize a document called my JSON document which called the name is my doc, which is this document from the JSON string, which we read from the files. And after that, we use the my doc object method to convert this instantialize my object, which is the JSON object. So this operation also doing the validation. If this JSON string is not correct, correct so it will be empty, the object will be empty. So we are going to test if my object is empty, will be append text, the object is empty. If not, we first print append a line to print the object size. And then we make a loop from object beginning to the end, each line, each object, we just a parse of a key using the iterator key method and we just convert to the UTF-8 format which is character format and the value which from the IT the value method and we convert to the string then we append this to the, our plan text editor so now let's try to compile and run Green, green. So now here we come out our uh, files. Let's click go to. Here is all the files. The file one of the file example file we call the pi people .json. So we copy, we paste here, and then we click this open JSON button. So you can see here is the from the JSON files we have. A, the object that's after converter, the object size is five because it's five key, one, two level, second member type, four is the name and the program. So what we call the key gender value is male. So key gender value is male. And the level, key level value is intermediate. Key level value is intermediate. And the key member type 
value is adult membership key value member type adult membership and the name is Steve Andrews name Steve Andrews but this one the value is nothing because uh, here this uh, program sign is a JSON array so we have to go back to here after we get here we have to make an, a test if id is array we have to do something which is an array and uh, else and uh, not array and then we are going to for this key we will do for each element have key and if not array we are going to append this value and uh, so if it's array what we're going to do it's uh, making if this is array we, as we do first we have to instantialize the object called my array which is uh, using the iterator to array method and uh, we start my array string start with a uh, bracket square and uh, we have to make a loop for array we don't know how many sides so it's from array begin to array end we each for each loop we just append the this array to string we send to the uh, my string array string then at the end we append the close of bracket and then then we have to put the, this into my string which is the key already append it's the value the whole of our array into the value then we after finish then we just append this to the plan text so now let's try again save so it's building here so let's click go to here is um, our JSON file ctrl C ctrl V and click this open button so now you can see we have a gender level member type name program we have one two three four element is array so now you can see the program we have value we have a house league which house league we have a social double and a social double and a tournament tournament and the social round robin social round robin so now we are able to parse these json files hello S thanks to watch my video hopefully it's uh, enjoyable and uh, useful it's going to be great to have your feedback thank you